Well, it's a reflection of the scientific management of society, which started in the early 1900s. I think uh, Frederick Winslow Taylor is the person that's credited with that. But it's all about using the scientific data to dissolve uh, the family boundaries, the boundaries of the individual, to break down the individual so that they don't think of themselves as an individual, they think of themselves as part of a group. The term group, it's a universal, it's something that's in the mind. There are no groups in physical reality. So breaking the, the context and the relationship between the, the mind and physical reality makes people confused and easily malleable. And Your only identity is that what color you are, or where you're from, instead of who am I? It's a class system. It's, it's predefined. Slavery. It's predefined, yes. Yeah. Okay, so the, the other idea that uh, breaking down the family will benefit the scientific dictatorship is the, the power of the individual has to be harnessed. The power that you have, your attention, your focus has to be misdirected toward things that you don't really need in your life to survive. And once they can do that, that is benefiting some third party that you haven't even investigated yet. So really, what they're doing as far as trying to break down the individual is a, it's an info war that goes on in your mind. But once you know about it, then you can start to outgrow that and grow in the light direction toward the truth, toward reality, toward toward knowing thyself, which is really the mission of every individual human soul on this planet. And, and Chris, I want to get your take on this, but it's so fundamental. They say obsess over what supposed race you are, we're all humans, mm -hmm. or obsess over religion, or obsess over this or that, or obsess, obsess over a sexual preference as if it's a civil right issue to get us all obsessing over sex while foreign banks steal 85 billion a month from us, while they're putting cancer viruses or the vaccines, hydrofluorosilicic acid in the water that Harvard admits is giving us cancer and dumbing us down. So we're not thinking about the real attacks we're all under by the social engineers. They give us all these balkanized fake reasons to fight with each other. And that, that all comes down to uh, eugenics. And what is the end goal? What is the end game of, of these people that are perceived that they're in power? And it's getting the population down to something that they want, whether it be a million or 500,000 or some. They call it manageable. Thing. Exactly. One thing that I was thinking about when Richard said that, you know, this all came into play in the early 1900s, a lot of folks don't realize that the Women's Voting Act came into be not because they wanted to give women the ability to vote, is that they wanted them to get out there and get into the workforce so they could collect taxes. It was a whole other segment of society. And have the state exactly. raise the children. So that, that in and of itself was a financial human resource. People have to understand that we are being taken advantage of on so many levels, whether it be the financial or eugenics. This movie breaks that down into simple terms where you can understand, okay, well, at least this is what I could study on to expand on what's going on. And it makes it a lot easier to understand.